So uh, I was asked to give a provocational speech. So that's what I've tried to do. So uh, thank you for setting the stage and I'll try to provoke a little bit um, on this topic. So first of all, I want to start that we at Utrecht University wholeheartedly endorse the responsibility that we need to take as universities to increase and, uh, the efforts to open up and share our knowledge and make equal as access uh, to knowledge and education possible. So we really strive for that. We have made uh, large steps with a number of others, uh, specifically on the research uh, path for open access and making also data uh, available, fair data. But the uh, importance of aiming for open education within at least the Netherlands is still, well, much needed, I think. So uh, we are working on that. But when we talk about open education, we need to think about the definition. So uh, within Utrecht University, we talked with a lot of people and we heard a lot of different terms uh, related to that. Accessibility, diversity and inclusion, but very often also open educational resources. And that's also, well, what you talked about and what we saw in a declaration. And um, we think that it's really important to think about what our goals are and if <coughs> open educational resources is then the whole story and, if, and also when we do it, in what way and which serves the, our aim and our goal. Um, so although open educational materials and resources are important, I would like to make a plea to look closely at what we aim for and also maybe if we look at open educational resources, maybe beyond that. Um, so making educational resources openly available sounds very noble and I think we all strive for that. But um, I think there's also a number of risks involved. So I want to talk to you about that. So um, if we re reduce open education to our resources, sharing uh, our resources, don't we just reduce our education to, it seems like that our materials are whole, our whole education. And we all know, at least all the teachers in the room, and well, everyone actually has been in a classroom at some point in their life. We know that's not the whole story. And in higher education, there's so much more that we strive for than just the materials, right? We have a PowerPoint, we have an exercise, but that's not the whole story. We want to exchange our ideas with our students. They personally develop, or at least we try to give them the chance to have that, to think about the societal um, uh, problems that there are and talk with them about that and there is a risk if we just say we are talking about open educational resources that we just say okay 75 percent should be open that we start counting okay I have 100 percent of my resources here I open 75 percent um, and again I try to provoke here but uh, that's not the way. Then we are going to check, have a checklist for each teacher. Is that what you want? And I think that's not what we want. So we want to make our education more open and more accessible and more available. So we need to think how to do that to make our resources more open and to do that. And I think counting is not the way. Um, uh, and so although we completely agree on the importance of open education and also the uh, educational materials, um, we also want to think about what is our goal, like I said in the beginning, and is the OOR, the open educational resources, the only solution for that? Um, so shouldn't we, well, think about accessibility, like I said, but also about how to make it easy for the teachers. So I think that one of the solutions for the open educational resources is less on making it all available. To be honest, we are trying to do this. And what we notice is that a lot of teachers say, oh yeah, that's fine, here are my materials, good luck with that. And no one actually ever finds it and searches for it. And actually none of the teachers are kind of willing to use materials from the others. So then it's like, what are we doing? We are like promoting everyone to put their materials online. Well, they do that, but they don't work together. And we have some brilliant 
examples of where it does work. And that almost always is when people collaborate. So for example, we have um, some of our nursing schools in the Netherlands, they have joined up and they um, made materials together and they put it in the open source uh, materials that we have in the Netherlands. And now all those schools can use that. So I think that's a brilliant way and hopefully it will also be translated in English and then it can be used broader for people who want to. But so I think that might be a for, far more fruitful way to uh, look at that. Um, but like I said, open education materials is not the only uh, part of open education. Um, we think that we need also to think about what the content of our education is. Because our students, like uh, I think uh, Simone this morning also said, the, our students are the future. They are the leaders of the future. They are the people who make our future. Shouldn't we also commit to think about how we should help them to become open citizens, to have an open mind and an open attitude? And that's not just by being open ourselves. Well, it's a good start, I think. So as a communi academic community, we need to be open and you know, our staff needs to be open. But we should also think about how we can promote that with, within our education. So don't we need to teach our students how they can be open so they can contribute in their field to, uh, to, to get a more open society so that they can share their knowledge. Um, and also for them to take different perspectives especially in the world that we live in now, that we see that all these different and strong ideas, don't, shouldn't we in higher education, but actually in all education, but also in our higher education, strive to think with our students to take different perspectives, uh, to connect to society and um, to understand the different views and about collaboration, so that our students learn how to collaborate and like what we said before, we think we need to collaborate to become a better future, but we also should talk with our students. And actually, I think a lot of our students want this, so we should do it like that. So um, that was my second point that I wanted to make. Um, so um, open education for us, it's not equal to open educational resources. That's obviously a very important part and we have to think about how we want to do it because there are a lot of risks involved. Not so much in that we don't want to share, but what do we share and do we reach our goal? If we just share our materials, we think we don't. So we really need to talk about that. And we also think that we should think beyond that and think on the content and that we should also commit to get education that is directed at open minds and open attitudes well, for our staff. So that we should start there because obviously we are not all youth. We haven't been educated in that way. I mean our staff and we ourselves. But we also need to think about how we do that within our educational culture so that we stimulate our students to take different perspectives, to understand differences, and also take their role uh, within society uh, for that. So uh, again, we need to commit to open education. All of us in some previous sessions, I think it's so important that it gets the equal recognition besides research, uh, because I, thought I was really pleased with the declaration because I thought it was more aimed at education than at research. And, well, at least in the Netherlands, it's still more about research than education. But I notice also here very often it still is about research when we talk about it. So I'm, I really appreciate the fact that we are aimed at open education. But to do it in a successful way, we need to look at how we want to share our uh, open educational resources resources and furthermore I really think we should look further than only the OOR and um, take away the obstacles in the access to our education but also go beyond that and sharing knowledge um, beyond only sharing the, the resources and um, go to education that helps students find their way to an open mind and an open attitude. So thank you so much. Thank you.